Hello, it's Alicia Connor, registered dietitian and chef from here on Quick and Delish. I'm here to show you a really simple homemade cereal or granola. I um I was intimidated or um uh, not intimidated, what's the right word? Hmm. Worried, concerned that maybe this cereal wouldn't be very exciting. Let me show you the final product first. Okay. So it's my version of no sugar, no salt, no, uh, you can add salt, whatever. But um, you know how granola has sugar and fat in it to make those delicious crunchy bits? I was trying to figure out a way to add something like granola to my yogurt, to my smoothie, to my whatever I wanted to add granola to so that it wasn't um, so calorie dense. But it still had nutrition, right? Because that's important, <laughs> always. So check this out. This is toasted oats. And I'll tell you how to do this in a minute. It's just toasted oats, toasted coconut, uh, raw pumpkin seeds, or you could toast the pumpkin seeds, and then cinnamon. Four ingredients, that's it. And it looks delicious, right? It's just a little toasty. Okay, I'll tell you how to do it in a sec. So I make this like once every two months, and it's enough to last me a while, like six to eight weeks. Because I use basically anywhere between two tablespoons and a half cup anytime I have it. Because um, I'm having other, you know, carbohydrates and stuff with what I'm having. I'm not just having like, you could probably have it like a cereal. Um, but you want to make sure to have enough protein with it. Maybe add some Greek yogurt or something with your milk. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, so... You might have seen this in other videos that have seen apologies about the sun. It's just one of those days. Um, the lighting is just not ideal. So I buy parchment paper pre-cut into sheets so I don't have to cut it because all these little details really make it so that cooking is easier, like significantly easier. Okay, so sheet pan, awesome sheet pan with edges, rims, edges, rims. Okay, so the basic recipe, I like to give ranges. Okay, so for you, because you're skeptical, <laughs> your first time, I would make uh, toast four cups of oats. So I'm gonna make your, so this is two, three, four. These are the Trader Joe's whole rolled oats. They're gluten-free. <laughs> I usually put a clothespin. I, I usually seal it and put a clothespin. I just sealed it. Okay, cool. Or I use Bob's Red Mill. Those are my two choices. Then I just spread this out. Nice layer. So I'll toast four to six cups. Since this, so four cups is a significant amount. Okay, there you have it. Just oats. So I put this in the oven. 325, 350 for anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on what your oven looks like. So basically, it's going to look like nothing's happening, and then it's going to be toasted, and then it's done. And you'll smell it a little bit in the in in your, in your kitchen. <laughs> It'll taste like, smell like, smell like toasted oats. So you don't want them to get too toasty. You want them just a little bit, a little light brown, light brown. Okay, so that's that. That's one sheet pan. So once you do that, you put you put it in the oven and put a timer on it for, let's say, 20, 25 minutes. Because I have no idea how hot your oven is. Okay, then coke it, coke it, coke it. <laughs> My mouth is really not working with me today. Okay, so this is shredded coconut. I prefer the larger shreds because I like to taste. So this was larger. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but they were big shaved coconut pieces but now they're smaller <laughs> I think they got kind of crushed you know in shipping and purchasing and everything one cup of coconut you could do three quarters to one and a half cups depending on how much you want to make and how coconut do you like it I like to do one cup sometimes I'll do one and a half cups it's all about how I like to feel how I'm feeling in the moment and how coconut -y. okay so that's it so thin layer, you're not trying to freak out too much. You put this in the oven. So the coconut is going to go fast. 
it's not it's going to go faster than the oats because there's fat in there the fat will help it toast quickly so once the coconut is toasty brown you want to take it out because if you leave it a little bit longer then it's going to be too toasty and at a certain point the fat will come out of the coconut and it'll be oily so you don't want that i've done this a lot of times many times okay so if you don't like shaved coconut this is Bob's Red Mill, by the way. Bob is great. <laughs> He's a great guy. Or the family of Bob's Red Mill. Okay, if you don't see uh, shaved coconut and you want to give this a shot and you don't want to wait until the grocery store has shaved coconut, I would just get uh, shredded, shredded coconut. So shredded, um, if you've had a macaroon cookie, you know what shredded coconut looks like. It's just very tiny, so it'll disappear. So it'll take less time to toast. So I would toast about the same. So these are both unsweetened coconut. I know some people don't like coconut, but it's okay. I like you still. Okay, so you could just substitute something else for your cereal. You could add hemp seeds. Coconut adds flavor and a little bit toasty crunchiness, a little bit. Then, once those two sheet pans are cool, 100% cool, no doubt cold, toasty, and dry, you put them in a bowl like this, and you're not going to be able to see inside, but the point is, so imagine for a minute, I just put the oats and the coconut in there, 100% dry, 100% cool, and you add one cup. Oh, look at that. That's for ridiculous I didn't even measure this in <laughs> this is a cup of pumpkin seeds they're raw if you'd like you could toast them and then for the fourth ingredient cinnamon so I like cinnamon like yeah cinnamon <laughs> I have Saigon cinnamon by our friends at Oaktown spices in Oakland California Saigon cinnamon, since I got this, uh, I have I really like Saigon cinnamon. I would highly, I highly recommend it. So it's just lovely, really. <laughs> so for you, I would start off with half a tablespoon. For me, I like two tablespoons. So anywhere between half of a tablespoon and two tablespoons. Some people don't like cinnamon as much as I do. I really like cinnamon. There was actually, um, you know, a cereal company, Kashi, Kashi Go Lean. It was a high protein cereal. And I believe they discontinued making Kashi Go Lean cinnamon flavor. But that cinnamon flavor was like so cinnamony. It tasted like sticking your finger in cinnamon and licking cinnamon. That's how cinnamony it was. I don't think everybody liked it. Okay, one tablespoon. Because I like two tablespoons, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sure, you could probably use a spoon. I'm, I'm not worried about having too much cinnamon. Okay, two tablespoons. There we have it. Stir this up. And then you have the final product. Which is what I was starting with. And what you could do with the final product is there's something else I was going to show you. No, I already forgot. Anyways, okay. Oh, here we go. So when I travel, sometimes it can be hard to get enough fiber when I travel. Or when we travel. Us, culturally. <laughs> So I always keep a quarter cup in my cereal, homemade granola, a quarter cup, and that helps measure. And then sometimes I'll add two tablespoons to something. So if I travel, I'll bring some Ziploc bags. Sometimes I'll put a half cup in each one and, and then whatever, but this is a quarter cup. And then I bring this like four of them with me when I travel. And then I have something to add to like yogurt or smoothie or whatever on the road, get enough fiber. Or I'll make trail, trail mix and bring them with me. Okay, what am I gonna have? Okay, here we go. I have kefir. This is goat's milk kefir, and it's very thick. It's by Redwood Hill. I'm just gonna do about six ounces. So I'm actually gonna have a snack right now. Okay, 
So I took some frozen cherries and I heated them up quickly in the microwave. So I'm going to add them. And I love frozen cherries because they make this delicious, gorgeous sauce without any added sugar. And then here's my tablespoon for measuring cinnamon. And I'm adding two tablespoons. And here we go. Yeah, what's up, spoon? So call this a smoothie, call it yogurt parfait. I don't care what you call it. It's delicious. So I'm likely to add more cinnamon because that's what kind of gal I am. <laughs> and I'm kind of cocky when I add spices. I totally like, as soon as I open a spice jar, I rip off the thing that prevents spices coming out so I, I can actually add what I need, which is a lot more. So I'm going to taste this. I'm not going to taste this in front of you just because it's a little bit messy uh, and see if it needs more cinnamon. So that's it for me. My AirPod was just popping out of my ear. <laughs> oh, also, this might be a little bit weird. Well, I'm going to take that back. Not weird. Interesting. Different. We're trying not to use judgmental words. I think weird is, I like being weird, but weird could be perceived as judgmental, right? Okay, so fennel seeds could actually be wonderful in here too. Um, cool, that's it. So um, check out the link below for the recipe for the cereal. It, it'll be typed up for you. And the ultimate smoothie template. So you can make a smoothie or something thick like this there's a recipe for mango lassi. It's just, you could use kefir, you could use Greek yogurt, you could add some sort of liquid to make it thinner. And then mango, maybe half a cup of mango. And then a couple of tablespoons of this awesome cereal that has any, does not, no sugar added. And the reason why I felt confident enough to share this recipe with you is one, it's four ingredients, come on, that's awesome. You make a big, big batch of it, like this awesome container. You might want to put it in smaller containers and then, you know, then you, whatever. But I love having a big container of something like that. I mean, it's like a big cereal box, basically. But I made it. I mean, most of it. I didn't grow the oats or anything, but come on. So super easy, inexpensive. You can run. This is the original recipe. You can run with this idea. Sky's the limit. Chia seeds, hemp seeds, whatever, flax seeds. Um, there's a million ideas. So, uh, what else are you going to get? Uh, I guess that's it. I'd love to see you at my next meal planning series session. And um, to, like, everybody needs their own meal planning system. So, I hope to see you then. Take care. Until then, I hope you make more quick and delicious meals. To make it so that you get nutrition and eat healthy more often, we do a lot this life of ours, and it's super important to make sure we have enough energy to do what we want. Okay, take care. Until next time, this is Alicia signing out. Toodaloo.